think a night in hair is going to make me tell you what you want. You've no idea what you're messing with. You've no idea. Uh! Mm! You're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, don't deny it. I can tell. You're enjoying it. Having a woman chained to a chair. And I admit, the silver's not doing much for my mood. It burns. It's burning. But if you think I'm telling you where my cubs are, you're out your mind. You're not getting you my boys. You're not laying one hand on my boys, you filthy... You think I'm afraid of you? Do you really think I'm afraid of you? You're one man. You're one hunter. I ain't afraid of you. And you can beat me all you want. And I know you're just dying to... Oh, you think I don't know about those? Them silver bullets? And that nice shiny gun? You think I don't know? You're gonna try and keep me alive long enough to make me betray my pack and then you're gonna empty them in my head. Screw you, as they say in my adopted homeland. I thought America was supposed to be the land of opportunity. All we're trying to do is exist. Don't you look at me like that. Don't you look at me like that. Like you're better than me. We've been around just as long as you lot. You think... You think you own this planet, you humans. You think that you own everything. You don't. We've always been here. We'll always be here. Mm. Oh, you are liking this. Oh, I can smell it on you. The arousal. Do you fancy me, boy? You're a bit young for old Maeve, but uh, maybe we could uh, come to some sort of agreement. <laughs> On second thought, you're not my type. I prefer a real, real man who's got the wolf in him. You're not going to find my boys. They're long, long gone. Why are you doing this to us? We've never hurt a human. We... All right, that was a bit of a lie. We've never hurt an innocent human. And I know some of our kind gets a bit... lenient about what to eat and what not to eat but my kind my pack we stick to cows we'll stick to sheep okay the odd german shepherd here and there but you know you get hungry what can you do but we've never gone after a human that didn't go after us first we don't kill for fun that's what you lot do <coughs> I'm not letting you hurt my boys. My boys are all I've left now that their dad's gone. Don't even act like you don't know. I know it was one of you hunter bastards that took him out. And if I ever find the one that did, him or her, I'm going to kill myself. 
You, on the other hand, we're gonna do something special for you. I don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna... Mm. Why do you hate us so much? It's more than a job with you, isn't it? I can tell. I can feel it off you. It rolls off you in waves. The hate. The hate you feel for us. I mean, I know you hunters. I know you hunt monsters. And according to you, we're the monsters. Werewolves, beasts, and all the other things you call us. You explain to me how we're the monsters. We're not the ones who've raped this planet, plundered our resources, take and take and take. Take until nothing's left and then move on to somewhere else where you can start all over again. We're not the type. We're not the ones that go out and murder for no reason. We're not the ones that decide, well, we're better than so-and-so because such-and-such -such is a different color or worships a different god or doesn't have the much money as we do. That's not us, that's you and your lot. And I know some hunters, they've got it in their heads that they're doing something important. They're doing something special. They're saving people. And I suppose some of them are. And some of them, I suppose, begrudgingly, I'll admit, they do some good. They get rid of the ghosts and the phantoms. Poor creatures need to move on, don't they? Nothing wrong with sending them on their way. But us, all we want is to live. All we want is to survive and be left alone. But you can't leave it at that, can you? I know you've got a silver knife. Take it out. Show it to me. Ah, yes. You've not used that, have you? Not on one of my kind. Oh, I can tell you haven't. I can also see your hands shaking. You be honest now. You ever kill one of us? Up close and personal like. I don't think you- Ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, you bastard. Yes, it burns. Of course it burns. It's silver, you great lummox. Ah. Right in my good side, too. Oh, don't you worry, love. I'll have a good side when I get out of air. And I am going to get out of air. You want to slash the other side of my cheek? The other side of my face? Here, go on. I dare ya. <sighs> Look at you. You're halfway to pissing yourself. I'm so sorry, but you do make a spectacle. You do. You really do. You're not going to get my cubs. You're not going to get my boys. Say? What? What you say? 
children. You mean little children? You, you think... <laughs> You think my boys are we children? You think they're we lads? Oh my word, are you in for a surprise? Well, I suppose it's a, a compliment you're paying then. If you're thinking that I'm not looking old enough to have three full grown boys. Oh no, lad. They're full grown men. They're full-grown wolf men. Let me ask you something else. Let me ask you something. You say you know my kind. You say you know me. You didn't know that, though, did you? That they're full-grown. But I know some things as well, lad. I know some things about you. <laughs> I know you didn't tell no other hunters you were out looking for us. I know you're doing this alone. I know there ain't no other hunters nowhere around this cabin. And there ain't no other hunters nowhere in these woods. And let me ask you a question. Don't you think the way you caught me was a bit easy. And ain't you wondering why I didn't put up a fight? Oh, that. That's my boys. They know their mother. They've been following all this time and... <laughs> easy, easy, Liam. Ryan, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. Hold him. Hold him. There you go. Daniel. Daniel, it's all right, Daniel. Daniel, don't, don't, don't have a spell, Daniel. It's all right. Don't have one of your spells. It's all right. Mummy's fine. Mummy's fine. Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit banged up. Yes, I'm... Get the keys from him. Get the keys off of him, Ryan. Give them to Daniel. There we go. Careful, careful, love. Careful, love. That's silver. Be careful. It's rowing through the chains, but there we are. Oh. Oh, it does feel good to stretch. Oh, that's better. Now then. Yes. I think some introductions are due, don't you? Liam. This is Liam, my eldest. He's a handsome lad, isn't he? And Ryan. My Ryan. He could play your American football. He could strong as an ox. Did you see, did you see how he tore that door straight off its hinges? Oh, you wrecked his car as well. Oh, that's lovely. And Daniel. Daniel, my sweet. Daniel's my youngest. Isn't he handsome? They're all handsome boys. And they're all handsome wolves when they choose to be. Now. Ugh. No, I know I'm bleeding. I know I'm bleeding, Liam. Yes. Yes, I know I'm bleeding. He did cut me. I, Liam, don't. Don't. Don't break it. Don't break his arm. Not yet. You can... Ooh, he does scream high pitch, don't he? Oh, did you dislocate his shoulder? Well, pop it back in, lad. There's no sense in the man standing there with it. The there we go. Liam could be a doctor, you know, if he wanted to. He's very good at setting broken bones. He's also, well, he's also good at breaking bones, if truth be told. But, you know, a mother will brag about her boys. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Daniel, fetch, fetch Mummy's sweater. There we are. He threw it over in the corner. There we go. Oh, oh, I am sore. A night in a chair like that'll do that to you. No, Ryan, Ryan. Now there's no, no, Ryan, do not bite him. Not yet. 
We have to decide what to do with him, don't we? I mean, we could kill him. I mean, we could flat out right kill him. And, um... Hmm. It's a tempting idea, really. I mean, fair's fair, mate. You did, you know, strap me to a chair and slap me around and slice me up a bit. And you were going to shoot me. And you were going to kill my boys. So, you know, fair's fair. I mean... Technically, we could eat you, and I think that would square things away. What, Daniel? No, no, no. No, no, no. You know everyone voices their opinion in this pack. Now, come on. Tell Mummy. What were you What were you thinking? Daniel, I won't scold you. Come on. Come on. Come. He's shy. He's... He's very special, is our Daniel. He just gets a little bit worked up sometimes, and it's hard for him to vocalize. And it don't help you staring at him. Come on, whisper to Mummy. Daniel, that is a grand idea. That is a grand idea, Daniel. And it's a wicked idea as well. You've got that streak of darkness in you. That's your da. That's your da coming through, Daniel. I'm so proud of you. Liam, Ryan, take him outside. Get him ready for the ritual. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's a ritual coming. Yep. What do you mean? We were going to bite you in turn... No, no, no. That's movies. That's the motion pictures. That's not how you make a new werewolf, is by biting them. You know what happens if we bite you? We eat you. That's what happens. No. Daniel, my sweet Daniel, gave me a lovely idea. You see, what turns a man to a werewolf is a ritual. It's magic. And it can be passed from parent to child. Daniel's, Daniel and Liam and Ryan's da was a werewolf and so am I. So it was made sense that we'd have children that are werewolves. Damn fine werewolves as well. But you? No, no. We're going to perform the ritual under that bright moon and you my hunter friend are going to become the thing you hate the most you're gonna become one of us and then you'll be part of our family and you'll be part of our pack and I know one or two bits of bits and bobs of special spells that can go along with this ritual. It'll clear your mind. You'll want to be part of our pack. You'll forget all about the life you used to have, except maybe a bad dream here and there. But don't worry about that. You'll be part of our pack now and we'll take care of you. You'll be Maeve's new little pack boy. Take him outside, you two. Get him ready. Oh, I need to focus, clear my head, get my thoughts together. Daniel, love, do mummy a favour. Head over to the stove and brew her up some tea. There should be some tea in that cupboard up there. Oh, no tea. Just instant coffee. Ugh. Well, it'll have to do. We've a ritual to perform. And a new pack member to join the fold. Won't that be lovely? We'll be one big happy family. Plus one. Thank you very much for listening to my newest uh, role play piece. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you have any comments, please uh, comment down below and please like, share, and subscribe and let other people know about me here on Platinum Roses Roleplay. Thank you very much and have a great day.